culture is a word we use in our everyday speech, but as a scientific term in sociology or the social sciences, it needs a special definition. A definition that you'll often see in 101 textbooks for sociology describe culture as the values, norms, and material goods of a society. By values, we mean ideas about what is good or bad. Norms refers to the rules for behavior within a society, and material goods refers to the things that people make. Now, this last idea about culture, this last aspect of culture, is essential to sociological understanding of culture. A word that can help us highlight this meaning is artifact. Now, an artifact is anything that is not naturally occurring. It is something that is human-made. When we hear the term artifacts, we may think of archaeology, um, bits of old pots, or arrowheads left behind by an extinct or ancient civilization. These examples of artifacts are completely accurate. They are things that are not naturally occurring. They were created by humans to help their society survive. They are tools. A key idea within sociology is that things like values and norms are also created by societies as tools to help them survive. So a primary aspect of culture in sociology is that it's the things, both material and non-material, that humans make in order to help them survive. Now there's another explanation for culture which is related to this one and also useful in sociology. Culture can be described as a set of shared meanings. Uh, they are meanings shared by those people that share a culture. Now I'll use a quick example to illustrate this. If I draw this symbol, those of you watching who are English speakers and have learned the Roman alphabet will recognize this as the letter P, making a P sound, such as in power or push. Anyone who looks at this symbol and associates, associates the meaning of P, or the letter P, with that symbol can be said to share the English language culture, or at least that aspect of it. Now, other people watching this may have grown up with the Cyrillic alphabet, speaking, for example, Russian. And in this case, they would recognize this symbol not as the letter P, but as the letter R, such as Riba or Robota. People who recognize this symbol as the letter R share the Cyrillic language or Russian language culture. In each case, this symbol has an arbitrarily assigned meaning associated with the different cultures that have created it. This symbol is an artifact which has a meaning attached to it that a culture uses, in this case, for communication. Language is a kind of social artifact. It is a non-material one, but just like a pot or an arrowhead, it is a tool that societies use, that humans create, in order to help them survive. Studying language is studying one aspect of a culture of a society. And there are sociologists who spend their time studying language and the role of language within societies. To recap, the study of culture can be understood as the study of artifacts that are created by people. There are both material artifacts and non-material artifacts that are equally important in the functioning of a society. The study of culture is also the study of the meanings that people attach to the world around them, to their artifacts, and also to the things that occur naturally. And of course, those who are part of one culture share those meanings. Thank you for watching.